Welcome back Team Fever and my Big Brother fans. I told y'all I was coming back tonight to do this review, but I will say that I'm doing this with my actual camera and the green screen, so y'all might not get this till the morning <laughs> because it just takes forever to upload. It takes forever to render. It takes forever to. It doesn't take me forever to edit it, but it takes forever to render and it takes forever to post. So sorry. But episode three is Celebrity Big Brother. Let me tell y'all, when I was just upstairs sitting on the couch watching this, I love this episode. I love this season. It's like I want to say I love this cast, but it's like 50% of the cast. It's like half the cast is playing, the other half is just left out. Like Ricky Williams was featured this episode. And he's actually deciding to play in this episode. But there's still people who are of no relevance, like Dina Lohan. Where was she? She was the one left off this episode. So the, the second episode was Ricky Williams who was left off. This episode it was Dina because we didn't see her at all. And then also, Mooch didn't really get that much time. Well, he got it. He had his moment, so I'm not going to mention him. Kato didn't have anything. So Kato didn't have anything. Dina didn't have, any, Dina didn't have anything at all. Kato had little to nothing. And Joey had a little, well, Joey was alright. But anyway, let's get started with the review. So the episode starts off with the nominees, you know, telling how they feel about Ryan's nominations. The Mooch was very sarcastic. He said, like, oh, he did exactly what I did. He put up people who he thought was a threat. So, like, I like Mooch. He's so hilarious and so sarcastic. I love it. Tom Green, I don't really remember what he said, but... Then we had Jonathan who pretty much said, yeah, I'm staying because I have a big alliance and I'm pretty sure everybody in the house who's not in my alliance likes me more than these two. Kind of starting not to like Jonathan. He's a little bit too cocky. I, I said he's going to remind me of Shannon Elizabeth with Overplant and uh, we got there. So then we see the girls alliance, which is pretty much Tamar, Tamar, Candy, Eva Marie, and Lolo. That's the girls within the six alliance. But... They're not really with Candy. It's really just the three of them, Eva, Tamar, and Lolo. So they all discuss that how did this end up? How did, you know, Dina and I end up on the block? She, he put up uh, Tom and didn't even discuss it with us, which I'm glad they caught on to this. Then they said pretty much Jonathan's the one running the HOH, which he was. Jonathan made the nominations because they put it together. Like, we agreed on Dina, and then she didn't go up. Jonathan's friends with Dina. Like, Jonathan, you overplanned, bro. Just, you had a perfect plan. You really Shannon Elizabeth, Shannon Elizabeth thing this. Did I say that right? You're, you're playing like Shannon Elizabeth from last season. So then we see Jonathan and Ryan inside the HOH room talking about his nominations. And we see Mooch talking about Trump, as always. They have to get their little their little segments in with Mooch talking about Trump. That's the whole reason why he's on the show, right? So then the girls are working out, the three girls, Tamar, Lolo, and Eva. They're working out. And they're pretty much just talking about girl stuff, nothing important. And Jonathan walks in, and he walks in with this look like, what are y'all talking about? Like, I'm bored, you know. And then walks right back out. Super shady. So the girls catch on to this, and they're like, we got to watch him. He's like, he really running this house. He's running the HOH. I don't like how he's popping in and out. So this alliance has cracks, and they split between the girls and the guys. And uh, Tamar suggests getting Jonathan out this week. Eva is against it. Lolo is in the middle. Tamar is like, let's get him out. She said he's a strong player. He's on the block right now. Why not get him out? If they get him out in the first week, I think this will be good. I mean, it's already good, so I guess it don't really matter. But they're on the fence right now. So then after we come back from commercial, we see Lolo and Tamar inside of one of the bedrooms. And Tamar is like in the bed laying down face it like on the wall that's against the door. And she's kind of like blending in with the blanket. Like, I barely saw her there. Eva Marie walks in, but she didn't even look around inside the room. She just looked right at Lolo and said, hey, we got to think of a name for our final two. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This was hilarious. This was one of the funniest moments. This goes down with the Alex. Remember in season 19 with Alex? Alex went into the room and was like, hey, Mark and Elena are mad. And Mark was sitting right next to her. This... This might be worse. I think, well, yeah, this might be worse. Eva Marie tries to cover it up. Well, first of all, Lolo tries to hint to Eva Marie, like, what are you talking about? Like, tries to play stupid, like, she's right there. So, they, <laughs> it was funny. Like, you could tell that these three are actually friends. Like, Eva Marie tried to play so stupid. She really tried to play the dumb role. 
with Tamar. And Tamar was like laughing at it. She wasn't really, she wasn't really that mad. Like especially for Tamar, like she was playing with it. And then Lolo tried to defend Eva Marie, but Lolo is smart, and I really like Lolo. So I don't know why she even tried to defend it. And Tamar was like. <laughs> Lolo said, you gotta find a two with candy, which she don't. She don't even like candy. And Tamar said, girl, don't get punched in your throat. And she, she sat up. But everybody that knows Tamar or that watched Tamar on any show, we know that's how she talked. She wasn't really being serious. That's how a lot of people talk. Like, punched in your throat. You thought she really was going to hit you. Lolo got so mad and so pissed, she got up and started like, Talking under her breath and being all hard and Tamar's like, are we, did we just get serious? And Lolo's like, maybe we did. And Tamar's like, I was joking. So then Jonathan pops in again. Like, is this Jonathan's third time popping in and we haven't even got to the veto meeting yet? So they tell him to leave. He leaves. And like, Tamar hugs Lolo because that's her girl. And I can tell that those two really do get along. A lot of people, well, both girls get along with Lolo. Um, but anyway, Eva and Tamar. So, they make up, I guess, for the time being. So then the girls go to the HOH room. And they just... Or did they? Did, or was this when Candy walked in? No, this ain't when Candy walked in. So, they went to the HOH room. Well, I don't know why they did that. And they started talking some more. And they started talking about Ryan and Jonathan's relationship. While they were right outside the HOH room on the Sky Bridge playing pool or whatever they was playing. So then... Uh, Ryan pops in real fast and says, why y'all talking about me? Which they were. <laughs> Tamar said, all day. Tamar is cracking me up. She is so good inside these diary rooms. She is such a good narrator of the show. She is so funny. That's why I like her for this show. And in general, she is so funny. She cracked me up throughout this whole episode and this whole season so far. She goes, remember when she, in one of the episodes when she was... They were talking game, and the door opened, and she's like, oh, yeah, and I was like, what the hell? And then, <laughs> she, it was just Eva Marie, so she's like, oh, it's you. Like, she's just out of nowhere. She good with that. She funny. I like her. But, anyway, um, for some reason, Lolo just didn't care and was like, let's leave. And she, the girls left. The Eva Marie and Tamar left. Like, this line's got a lot of cracks. And I can tell that Jonathan's kind of quiet and down, because at this point, it was all Ryan that was talking. Jonathan is on the block, and he's feeling like, oh, shoot, we cannot lose them right now. <laughs> and in his head, I think he knows that they mad because of the whole Dina thing. Because he's a smart guy, right? Anyway, um, what's next? So then Ryan talks about Ryan and Jonathan are left in the room, and they start sensing the, the tension, and Ryan says he might have to switch his nominations and put Lolo up because he's starting not to like her. Or put one of the girls up because he started not to like them. They go downstairs to the kitchen. Eva Marie and Lolo are in the bathroom. They hear the guys talking. Lolo has a temper or something. She gets mad. She goes in. She says, look at the final two. She's shading them. Then she puts the middle finger up at both their pictures. Ryan's even more mad, but he's like goofy mad. Jonathan's worried and scared. You can see it in his face. His eyeballs couldn't open up any wider than they already was. So then... Uh, pretty much Ryan just says he wants to get rid of Lolo. And this is where the spoiler makes sense. So, in the last video, for when I reviewed the two episodes and I said, I don't know where this came from. He's close with Lolo. Apparently, the spoiler was right. So, he does want Lolo out. So, thank gosh. It was right. Um, so then the veto competition. Um, who got picked? Joey got picked and Ricky. Uh, Joey threw the competition. Everybody noticed it. He wasn't good. Tamar, <laughs> Tamar said, you've been acting for 20 years, 22 years, and you can't, everybody can see you throw this child. It was hilarious. Ricky beats through the competition. So, I mean, he decided, he showed up, and he showed out. Ricky, good job. He won that veto. So then we see Ryan talk to Ricky for the first time ever on this show because he's the veto holder, and he's trying to get him to put up Lolo, to take down Jonathan and put up Lolo. Ricky decides to play the game. He tells the girls what just happened. I like this. Ricky is not a target for anybody. And I, y'all know how I feel about Ricky. Come on now. So I'm not a fan of his, but he's playing the game. And he's playing good. He's Casey in it right now because he's under the radar. He's not on nobody's um, list on who to get out. And he's stirring the pot. And um, Jonathan, in the beginning of the episode, Jonathan and... 
Ryan were talking about how they probably should have put up threats, but everybody that's a threat is in their alliance. Ricky is not in their alliance, and I think he's a threat, and he just proved it because he won veto. So that shows how under the radar Ricky really is. So, I mean, got to watch out for Ricky. He might rise up, and he might become one of my favorites. You never know. So then we get the Candy and Tamar drama. I talked about this inside of another video if y'all want to watch it. But this was a different scene. I really don't got much to say about it. I knew about this drama when it actually happened. Or at least I heard about it. But we heard a little bit more. It was nothing really important. They just don't get along. And this went throughout the whole episode. They just don't get along. I talked about Ryan's deal already. Ricky told Lolo. Um, Lolo was completely shocked. She told Eva and Eva was like, bam. Let's get them out. But Eva was not playing when they talked about getting Lolo out. She was ready. Like, all right, no. No, it's time to get Jonathan out. So it looked like Jonathan might go. Candy walked into the room when the three girls were talking. And <laughs> Candy is so nice and sweet. She's like, Tamar, I don't want to fight no more. And Tamar's like, no, just give me a hug. They hug. She's like, it's bigger fish to fry. We got to get Jonathan out. So now the four girls are together. They're about to get Jonathan out. Ricky doesn't use the veto. But I know that from that video, apparently Candy's on the block. So I'm... Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want the spoiler, please click off the video now. So, assuming Mooch leaves, uh, Scaramucci, however you say it, he left, and Candy's up on the block. So, I am kind of scared because if Candy's on the block and Tom's on the block, that's only Eva, Lolo, Tamar to vote Jonathan out. Ricky, maybe? But that's still not enough, is it? Because there's no way Dina's voting them out. Eh, all right. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, talk about the girls meeting. That's about it. That's it for this week's video. This episode, I love this episode. It was one of my favorite episodes. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, yeah, because I can watch this episode again. This was really, really good. I really like this, y'all. Um, I don't want this video to be too long because, like I said, this video is going to take forever to render because I got to render me and then the screen and then I'm giving y'all too much information. This is why my videos are always long because I just ramble, ramble, ramble. But leave a comment, please. <laughs> and uh, be sure to check out the video that just appeared over my face for more videos from me. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, y'all know all the good stuff. Catch you later.